guys, Megan Mitchell here. I've been loving your submissions to our Stella Artois food board, and this week, you inspired me to head to Breckenridge, Colorado. I'm excited to explore the town, check out the Rocky Mountains, and make a delicious meal. Two hours west of Denver, Breckenridge is a small town in the Rocky Mountains. Founded by gold miners in the mid-1800s, you can still see many historical buildings on Main Street. 9,600 feet above sea level, Breckenridge gets 300 inches of snow every year and 300 days of sun. The town is known for its skiing, but the locals say the people come here for the winter but stay for the summer. Today I'm making a grilled tomahawk chop with salsa verde. It's a bone and ribeye, and you won't be able to find this in any local store. You'll have to go to a butcher and get the specific cut. And first I'm gonna start with my rub. And in here I have salt, a little cayenne, smoked paprika, brown sugar, and onion powder. I'm just gonna massage some of this rub into the meat. And the reason I'm using a dry rub is when it goes on the grill, it'll form a really nice crust. And you wanna do it on both sides. All right, this looks perfect. Now onto my grilled salsa verde. And since I'm pairing this dish with Stella Artois, the heat from the spicy, smoky sauce will pair nicely with the crisp, hoppy notes of the beer. I'm using a poblano, one jalapeno, and I need two tomatillos, and I'm using half of a white onion. And I'm gonna cut it in half with the root still intact, peel off the skin, and that way, when I put it on the grill, nothing falls through the grates. I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little olive oil and salt and pepper, and toss it. You wanna make sure everything's coated. And onto the grill. Ooh, it's a hot grill. And the jalapeno. And what I'm looking for is a really nice char on the poblano and the jalapeno, which will make it easier to peel. On the tomatillos as well. And I love grilling onions. I think it adds a really smoky flavor to the sauce. I want to cover this and let it cook a couple minutes per side just so it gets a nice charred mark on the bottom. And I'll flip it, char it a little more. The jalapeno, you want to flip it a couple times since it's rounded. You want to make sure every side gets nicely charred. I'm gonna put my poblano, my jalapeno, and my tomatillos in a bowl. And I'm doing this, I'm gonna wrap them with plastic wrap because I wanna steam them. It'll be easier to remove the skins. So while this steams, I'm gonna chop up my onion and my cilantro. You wanna take off the root. Remember I left that intact so the onion stayed whole. I'm just gonna roughly chop these. These are nice and charred, they're really soft. There's something about grilled onions. It kind of makes them a little sweeter. Now onto the cilantro. I think it adds a nice vibrant, fresh taste to this grilled salsa. Remember, it doesn't need to be super fine because I'm gonna go back in and chop this all together. I'm gonna start with my tomatillos. Just give them another rough chop. Now I'm gonna move on to my jalapeno and you wanna remove the stem. And then depending on how spicy you like it, you can remove all of the seeds, you can remove some of the seeds. I like a little kick in my sauce, so I'm gonna leave the seeds in. The poblano will add the nice smoky flavor. I'm gonna remove the skin and it's coming off very easily. That's why we steamed it. And then I'm just gonna cut around the stem and scrape out those seeds. And then I'm just gonna give it another rough chop. So I have all of my piles of vegetables. Now I'm gonna scrape them together and this is how I'm making my sauce without a food processor. I'm just gonna chop and pull together and chop and pull together. To finish seasoning my salsa verde, I'm gonna add two cloves of minced garlic, the juice of half of a lime, a little salt, a little pepper. I'm gonna give this a taste. <coughs> a little spicy, but I can taste the lime juice, I can taste the smoky poblano. I think it's perfect. Now onto our potatoes. I have some baby potatoes. Now I'm going to add a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Just toss them together. And then I have a grill basket that's been preheating on my grill. I'm just going to pour them in. These should cook about 10 minutes. Just go back, shake them every once in a while. You want them to get charred and browned on every side. So while my potatoes grill, I'm going to make the dressing or sauce for it, which is really just rosemary and Dijon mustard. I'm going to remove the leaves from the rosemary stems. Just give it a nice chop. And then a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So when I add the hot potatoes into the bowl, the Dijon mustard will almost melt into them. I love this side dish because not too many ingredients, doesn't take too long. 
All right, I'm gonna pour this into my beautiful serving dish. And just to finish it off with some flaky sea salt. I set my potatoes aside and move on to the main event, which is my tomahawk chop, which has been absorbing that great spice mixture I put on it. I'm gonna put it directly on my preheated grill. I want my chop to cook about 10 minutes per side. You wanna get a really nice crust on it, flip it and get a really nice crust on the other side. I can smell that spice rub already coming off of it. It's gonna be nice and juicy and tender in the middle. My tomahawk chop looks ready. And luckily I have this built-in handle so I don't need tongs. It's so perfectly cooked. It's nice and crusted. You can see the grill marks. While it rests, I'm gonna make my dessert. I'm gonna show you my take on s'mores, which is one of my favorite desserts. I'm gonna start with some graham crackers that I put a little bit of melted butter in. I'm gonna add brownies. I made these earlier and I cut them into cubes. I'm gonna use four mini cubes and push them down, make another layer. Perfect. And then some chocolate sauce, chocolate ganache, whatever your favorite is. Put a little on top of the brownies. And next, my marshmallow cream in the top. And some mini marshmallows. Just an homage to my childhood. And I'm gonna use this nifty gadget. I'm gonna torch my marshmallows. And voila, you have a s'mores trifle. My dessert is done, so I'm gonna start plating. I'm gonna take my salsa verde on this beautiful piece of slate. It's gonna pair perfectly with my tomahawk chop sort of nestle it on top of that salsa verde. And then my potatoes fit in this little nook, like so. This is really good. This is one of my favorite dishes, but I'm cold, so I'm gonna make a fire. I had a great time in Breckenridge. Thanks for sending me here. Where should I head to next? Be sure to take your favorite food and destinations to our Stella Artois Food Board with SA Food Board. I can't wait to see where you send me.